So I'm making this video because I haven't posted in a while and just want to post something on YouTube. Also thought this was a really good idea, so kind of want to share it. So talking about Euro AUD, uh, simply we have this impulse move up. We got a three-legged formation, one, two, three here, uh, testing off a weekly level and looking for price to continue pushing up. And if price gets up to this area, I'm looking for it to push up aggressively, aggressively through uh, 7065. And the reason for that is every time price has come up to this level, it's either consolidated or aggressively pushed through the zone. Last time I was here, we aggressively pushed through the zone. Here, we aggressively pushed through the zone. Here, we consolidated at the level. Here, we aggressively pushed through the zone, aggressively pushed through the zone, aggressively pushed through the zone, aggressively pushed through the zone. Aggressively push to the zone, consolidate and respect the level here. So looking for either one of those options to happen. So looking for 7065 to be reached in the next coming uh, weeks or months. In the, in the next coming weeks, uh, next coming months. So if we go down to the daily now, we can see that price has respected this level before. Uh, here and uh, we're at that level now at this weekly level so what I'm going to be looking for if, if, I'm, if I'm a buyer in this situation how can I collect them all sell, selling orders right so if I'm a buyer I'm going to be looking for an opportunity to collect sellers so if I look at sellers perspective we have a double top here and price has broken below that and retested this daily level here. So this previous low here, basically the neckline of the, or the valley of the double top. So looking for, if I was a seller, I'd be looking for price to continue pushing down and continue pushing down aggressively. Now, if I'm a buyer in this situation, going back to the weekly, we have this aggressive push to the upside, which is, which I consider an impulse. And we see that we respected this level last time. 62.68. So, sellers again, if they're paying attention to this trend line, they see the trend line's broken, so they're looking for a sell here. Now, if the reason I'm on the buy side is because on the week level we're in an uptrend. We have this uh, higher low here, higher low here. And if we zoom into what's going on currently, we have a higher low here, higher low here, and a, another higher low here, potential higher low here, looking for this to actually be the push up. Now going back down to the daily, if I'm collecting the most sellers, I want, sellers would want this low to be broken and sellers would, more sellers would enter the market here. Since that low is broken based on that double, double top. <clears throat> so looking for a whip below this low here, potentially. And on a lower time frame for actual entries, we have all these zones that I want to be paying attention to as price breaks up or down, uh, as price breaks through them. So the first idea that I'm looking for is price to break above this high here and then give me a retest at this last high pre break. And I'll target this next zone here. And then my next area to sell would be around 6426, uh, where we have a little resistance here. Can drag that to the left there. Little resistance here. Setting my stop above the candle that went through this resistance zone and looking for price to come down to that weekly level and cancel out that or break below this uh break below this low to collect more sellers. And then by the time price gets here, if I get some exhaustion in this area, I'll go ahead and enter for a buy and look to go all the way to this high at 7065. Uh, and look to add through each one of these zones. I'll be adding through each one of these zones if that happens. Now, alternatively, if we just break up, I'll look to enter. If we just break up and get uh, this first buy and price continues to break this trend line and breaks this high here, I'll go ahead and enter again for a buy and just look for price to continue pushing up. But I feel pretty strongly about price selling off from this point and we getting us getting more selling orders as price breaks below or wicks below this low here. 
so so to put everything together I'm looking for price to push up come to 64.26 push down take out the slow at 62.80 62.68 and then push up based off our weekly analysis so I thought that was a really good breakdown and gives my perspective of the charts so if you guys like the video go ahead hit the like button and i will catch you in the next one and just so you know next year i'm going to be posting regularly again for a period of time uh doing my weekly trading reviews again and monthly reviews and uh hope you guys keep up with it hope you guys like it and i'll catch you in the next one